Hey, what's poppin', y'all? You guessed it. We're back with the new chapter of One Piece, 1067. Let's get into it right now. Okay, the first page, the cover page, German 66. We got Caesar versus Judge. Yeah, Judgy. We got Caesar versus Judgy. And I forget, who are you again? Judge versus Caesar. And then Ichiji and Niji are just... In the background watching the whole thing all right let's go first page of the chapter let's get into this whoa 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 what's going on what's going on all right all right all right dr vega punk let's go what happened to your head says bonnie it used to be like a massive light bulb yeah we saw that you know last week a most curious head it was getting a tad too long so i cut it we're not, we're not talking about hair here. Wait, his head was getting long. So what Dragon said was, it was true. His Vegapunk's head got bigger ever since the last time like Dragon saw him in the flashback, but. What? I guess it just gets bigger. And then in the next panel, we actually see how, how big it's supposed to be. And look at this, bro. Bro, that's not a he head. That's a, like, that's like a balloon. Like the ones you fly in. As I recall, I was almost as tall as a giant when I met you. Nah. A giant? On that body? No, come on. I heard rumors about it being big, but it was like an air balloon. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Well, that's because I ate the brain brain fruit. Wait, hold up. So Vegapunk ain't no genius. He's just the... He, he, he just got lucky with the fruit. Pardon me. Wait. Japanese, he gets tongue-tied trying to say the fruit's name. No me, no me, no me. Oh, okay. Pardon me. I bit my tongue. I meant to say I'm a brain human because I ate the brain brain fruit. It allows me to memorize an unlimited amount of knowledge and makes my brain grow in size accordingly. Damn. Having an unlimited data bank is a handy ability for a born genius like me. It's all up. He's a, he's a born genius... And he's able to store it infinitely because he has a fruit. Now what I'm wondering is, the previous users of this fruit. We gotta see them. Now I have the largest brain in the world, and it continues to grow. Yeah, nothing to be proud of, bro. Still? Did you put it somewhere? That's awesome. Have you got tons of medical knowledge too, Dr. Vegapunk? And he says, naturally. And Chopper's like, whoa! Does that mean you're dumb now, old guy? Because you cut your brain out? <laughs> Don't write off a genius. You rascal. See this apple right here? It's an antenna. Why is it an apple? <laughs> Why did the antenna have to be like a like in the shape of an apple, bro? <laughs> no one no one knows the answer to this question. Take a gander at the top of the island. Notice how it says punk records under the giant egg. That's the hangar where I keep my brain. Whoa, whoa, punk records? That's where you keep your brain. So it's not split into the other Vegapunks. What, isn't that way too big? There's no harm in me being away from it since my antenna can pick up the brain waves. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> you met a little girl earlier who called herself Vegapunk, right? That's one of my clones. There are six on the island. You're a ninja? Oh! Of course, Naruto! Each one is a facet of myself and an expert of their own key field of study. Okay. You'd get my full personality if you combine them. But they can get six times the work done apart. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> okay, we get what that means, but like... They, they wrote it kind of weird. What the... Each of them connects to punk records once a day to synchronize our memories and knowledge. Okay, once a day? So it's not like automatic all at the same time. Since their dispositions and responsibilities are so different, the wealth of their experience is that much greater. Except for York. <laughs> you shall share the same brain? You all share the same brain? <laughs> Luffy's like, what the fuck? I found it difficult to wrap my head around that. <laughs> they made a pun? 
They made a pun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Just think of it as sharing the same library. If only I could let everyone in the world connect to my brain, all of humanity would access would have access to my knowledge. Dr. Vegapunk is Tesla! He is Tesla, but not electricity, but with the brain waves and because of and also like the imagery. The imagery right here looks like the you know, those electricity blueprints from those times, you know, Edison, Tesla. Like, look at this. Look at this without getting copyrighted. The the web in the background, that's like that's like, you know, those years, you know. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, then, if the population of the world went on to update punk records themselves, it would create a sea of information that surpassed what my brain can accomplish alone. Humanity would share one mind. Bro, he's talking about the internet, but it, it didn't work like that in the real world. In the real world. So, be, so I'd be able to study medicine from all over the world? Naturally. Oh, bro, Chopper wants the internet. Luffy, you can play games with Saitama, but if you let everyone share their conflict, conflicting ideologies, wouldn't all that bias lead to trouble? <laughs> bro, Jinbei's seen into the future, bro. <laughs> Jinbei's like, hold up. What about the cancel culture? What about toxic people on the internet? You sure are a sharp one, now that it's see. That's true. But, si but science would never progress if you spent all day worrying about stuff like that. That is also true. Let's go. What's your problem, Vegapunk? You shrug, you shrug off sacrifices in the name of progress. That's why dad's been turned into a heartless weapon. And then she pulls out the lightsaber that Vegapunk invented, obviously. Stop it. Bonnie, that beam saber is defective. I know. Wait, give it a rest. I know it cuts well enough. I tested it earlier. Turn my dad back into normal. Uh, if you even think about saying no, don't be hasty, Bonnie. Killing him would make you a lot of enemies. Hit, hit the off switch, Bonnie. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Okay, the beam attracts a, lu a ludicrous number of bugs. What? Why? <laughs> Bro, that makes no sense. And then bugs are coming at Bonnie. Wait. And then she's crying. Gah! Check it out, Bonnie. A giant st stag beetle. This isn't the time for beetles. Look at her. She's fainted. Okay. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Of course, Bonnie wants me dead. It's, ir it's ironic that one of my many failures saved me. Speaking of which, you guys were recently in Wano, correct? You wouldn't happen to know whether a dragon just like Kaido really appeared there? You wouldn't happen to know whether... Okay. It did! Momo no sake. Oh, you're talking about Momo. Yeah. I suppose he ate the defective fruit I left on Punk Hazard. So defective doesn't mean it doesn't work. So again, it just might be the color. Mm, defective? What do you mean? That was an artifi artificial devil fruit. Devil fruit I synthesized. I made it after 20 years of researching Kaido's lineage factor. It cost countless resources. But I couldn't get it quite right. Also, that's why he... He is the same as Kaido, but it worked out just fine. He can still spit fire and he's super strong. He's the guardian deity of Vano now. Yep. You really made that awesome. And his color, pink. Yeah, of course it is a color. You see, another monumental failure. Bro, come on, who cares? He's a salmon, bro. Pink suits Momo, right? It wouldn't be nice if we just had like two blue dragons going at each other. Come on. What's wrong with that? I get it. He's a genius and a perfectionist. Yeah, that's what it means. Jimmy's too sharp, bro. What about this robot? You made it too, right, old man? Nah, make it move. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Wait, what? This is a legendary iron giant that attacked the holy land of Mary Joa about 200 years ago? Bro, what? Wait. 200 years ago? Yes, but it was built over 900 years ago? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was built 900 years ago. 
by the ancient kingdom. Okay. And then it was not working, I guess. And then the Joy Boy thing, all of that happened. And then another 200 years ago, it attacked Mary Joa, the, the dragons, the celestial dragons. So I guess it must have been like another Joy Boy, just like, uh, just like Luffy, Roger, fuck even Nolan. But Nolan was around 400 years ago. So like this could easily be like another Joy Boy. It's just like the avatars, bro. Its objective remains unknown. I heard it ran out of power before it, it could cause any casualties. 200 years ago. Or maybe it was like a... Maybe if it was not like another Joy Boys doing, it was like an error. I don't know. Either way, I'm sure the scientists of the time were absolutely flabbergasted. Such advanced technology would have seemed totally alien to them. None of them could tell where it came from or what it was trying to do. Oh, so he's talking about 200 years ago. The scientists then versus this giant. Damn, bro. 200 years ago? What the fuck was it doing 200 years ago? Bro, the shading is spectacular. Oda? Oda, what are you doing? It seems the world government ordered, ordered its destruction. But the scientists of the time couldn't help their curiosity. Is this another ancient weapon? No, no, no. That's why they hit. That's why they hit it here, to be passed down without the government's knowledge. Good job on finding this place from from the town. The entrance should look like a wall. We just stumbled here since we were all old, old and senile. Oh, yeah, we were plain old lost. Oh, what is that's a shame. Oh, so the, the rest of the crew is watching this from like a screen. 200 years ago, that's around the time the fishmen's, the fishmen rights movement started to gain ground. Oh, <laughs> bro. Come on, so much history. My brain can't take it all. So you're saying that robot, that robot climbed the red line? Most likely. What? I created Vega Force 01 based on what I learned from it, but I lacked the scientific, the scientific pro, the prowess to reverse engineer every aspect of it. So even Vegapunk is lacking the scientific prowess, prowess to the prowess to reverse the engineer, engineering of the old robot. Damn. It's difficult to believe that this mechanized soldier was made over 900 years ago. There's something even you couldn't recreate? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Frankie's asking that. It's power source. The infinite sun or the fire. In the past, they had a power source that would, that would append our modern ideas of what's possible. Well, at any rate, it's good to know Luffy and the others are okay. Who's that girl, though? It's Bonnie. That's Jewelry Bonnie. She's a pirate. Is that Usopp saying that? Wait, Nami's asking that. Usopp's answering. I thought the one we saw before was a little girl. And the way Vegapunk's head works is crazy. I truly did a terrible thing to Bonnie. Yeah, you should get down and beg her to forgive you, old man. <laughs> Luffy's pissed. You young dolts. Like, you know anything about it. <laughs> Just do whatever Luffy says, bro. <laughs> There's something I have to give her. What, what could this be? Regardless, I feel like fate brought you here today, Straw Hat Luffy. Please. Can you take me away from Egghead? What? 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 Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vegapunk is personally asking Luffy, wait, hold up. Regardless, I feel like fate brought you here today. So they just they just arrived today. That's that's correct. Straw Hat Luffy, the full the full epithet. Alright, Straw Hat Luffy, please, can you take me away from Egghead? He says. And he's scared a little bit. Of course, it's Dragon's son. And then we panel off to another scene. Where like the, the robotic sea kings, 
They're battling this cipher pole. This is cipher pole. We're requesting, we are requesting entry to Egghead Port. What poorly trained pets. Oh, bro, cipher pole, cipher pole is here. Damn, they're wearing masks as well, bro. Luchi looking cool. Reports indicate that Jewelry Bonnie has spotted making her way here too. That pest keeps slipping away from us. She served her purpose. Let's just terminate. Let's just terminate her on sight. Shaka, there's a government ship. All right. Let's go. CP9. Newly crowned, I guess. CP0 versus... Versus... The Straw Hats. Uh, a emperor, an emperor's crew. But, um... Just, just the, behind Luchi, there's the Kuma Seraphim as well. Bro, this is so interesting. <clears throat> It'd be bad if they found us harboring pirates. What does CP0 want with us? And why did they bring Rob Luchi? I say we just hand this riffraff over. After all, that Luchi fellow is an assassin, right? Uh, shut the fuck up, Lilith. Lilith, we love you, but shush, shut the fuck up. What? Bro, what's up? Rob Luchi? Hey, hurry up and give us our legs back. Naomi's like, no, that guy's still around. You can't let them in. Don't, don't worry, Robin Chan. I will protect you no matter how many times he comes back. Says Sanji to Robin. Okay, let's go. Frankie's a little worried. I want to see what... Whoa, whoa. Wait, what's going on? Tell them to hand over the Seraphim and leave. We're declining their request to dock. I doubt agents of the world government will respond well to that. So be prepared for battle. Damn. And then we go to Kambaka Kingdom. Grand Line. Dragon Sun. Kuma-san's acting weird. Kuma-san, wait. We're trying to repair you. And Kuma is like giant, bro, in this panel. Kuma-san, what's wrong? Is he still being controlled by the Navy? Perhaps. He started running. Wait. Kuma-san, where are you going? You're in no state of being moving like that. You're still not yourself. What's with him? I don't know. So Kuma's like, he's got these like robotic parts flying, flying out of him. He's running. Kuma-san, come back. He falls to the ground. Talk to, and then Dragon is pissed, yo. Talk to us, Kuma. Where do you want to go to so bad? Stay with us. We're not done fighting. The revolutionary army is just getting started. A mad dash to where? So Kuma is like coming back to his senses. He's dashing over. Nobody's, nobody knows where he's going. Damn, bro. Break next week, of course. Fuck me. Damn, guys. This a really good chapter you know hey bro let's let's skim through it again the cover page we got judge and caesar fighting and then we get to learn about vegapunk's brain his fruit as well and then he explains to the other half of the crew and then he talks about the brain internet or whatever the fuck it is He's talking about TikTok there. <laughs> and then Bonnie threatens Vegapunk with, with the lightsaber. Oh, and then... And then Bugs come in. Yeah, and then Vegapunk's like... I did a defective fruit. They talk about Momonosuke. They talk about the old robot. Damn, bro. So much stuff going on in this chapter, bro. No cap. And then Shaka is talking about the power source of the big robot. And then Vegapunk is like, Luffy, hey yo, listen to me, kid. I need you to do something for me. Can you take me out of this island? And then Luffy's like, hmm? And then Cypher Pole has just arrived. The crew is freaking out. Rob Luigi is here. What the fuck? And then, bro, nah, look at this. This is like a, this is a beautiful panel of Kuma. 
He is huge in this panel. Damn, he looks good. All right, then he's back to normal size. And then he's running. And then Dragon is like freaking out. Bro, where do you want to go so bad? And then Ivanko, she's like, he is like, we're not done fighting. Stay with us. The revolutionary army is just getting started. The oh, wait, I just realized this trio, this trio in the last row, this three panels of Dragon, Kuma, and Ivanko, these three are the ones who started the revolutionary army. Damn, bro. So stuff getting heated up. Yeah, and I will see you next week. Make sure you tune in. Peace out.